Hey guys, well welcome back. Uh, we're using Fusion 360 today to draw our x-axis ball nut mount. Now the, we're using RM2005 double ball nuts and this is a good size ball nut. I wanted something that was going to be appropriate for the size of the mill. I felt like 1605s were just too small and it would cause flexing on the ball screw and maybe uh, amplify any backlash that I may have. So I went with the beefier 2005 series double ball nuts. Now that in itself is not a problem. However, the space up underneath the X table is at a premium. The ball nut does fit under there with a little bit of slight uh, grinding off the surface here. However, the mount for the ball nut is going to have to be trimmed down in order us, for us to slide the x-axis table onto the saddle. So let's get started. I'm going to start off by going up to File, New Design, and let's save this as x-axis ball nut mount okay and now we want to open up our data panel here and we want to find our RM2005 double ball nut we want to right click and select insert into current design and then it'll place it design in our new drawing select OK it default puts it where it was in the last drawing so that should be in the correct position select the sun, uh, front view here and then we can turn the you can break the link and then now we'll be able to modify this and we can turn these bodies off because all we really need is the sketch. Okay, so now that we have our sketch, we can start working on our ball nut coupling for the x-axis. Uh, the first thing we want to do is go to sketch, create a sketch, and we want to select this back plane here. Make sure it gets highlighted and there we go and then we want a let's start off with a center diameter rectangle and we need to be 37 hit tab and 70 all right that looks good we can adjust that if we need to later All right, then we want to hit C for circle, and we want to put a 36 millimeter hole in here so that our ball nut can slide through. And then we want this mounting hole here. This needs to be six millimeters. six millimeters here as well uh, we're not using these holes because there's just not room in our design for that all right now I want to draw a line so I'll hit L I'll draw a line this needs to be 34 millimeters up and all the way across okay there we go now I want to hit T for trim I want to take this line out this line this all that there we go all right now let me go up here to these sketches I want to turn 
this sketch off here because we don't need that any longer we can trim this line all right let's uh, stop this sketch now I want to go to modify press pull we're going to select this right here this is 32 millimeters select OK alright we can turn this sketch off and then we want to modify chamfer I want to select this edge and this edge and we want to go down 12 millimeters 12 millimeters click OK alright looks pretty good now let's move it around to the top here and our mounting holes are 50 millimeters apart alright so let's go back up to sketch create a sketch we'll select this this and this okay and then rectangle let's do a two-point rectangle we'll start at this point and go to this point there we go all right then let's hit L for line and we're going to follow this line right here until we get a triangle or a delta I guess is what it's called I'm not sure that gives us our center line there we go and then we'll get the center line from it which is here and we'll go over 25 millimeters put a point and the center here and go over 25 again and put a point all right let's see if we can let's there's a couple ways we could do this I, I don't know if it's easier to sketch it well let's just go ahead and sketch it first and then we can if it doesn't work out we can always do something else all right so our first hole needs to be six millimeters I believe and 10 millimeters all right these will be our mounting holes that mount to the actual saddle itself all right so now that we have those sketched out we can stop our sketch and let's just see if we can create a hole select this surface click on the center there and pop that there and then we need to do multiple holes okay start over so let me select this face there we go there's a hole there and a hole there there we go all right now that we had those two points and those two holes uh, we need to select what hole type we want well these need to be counterboard uh, the depth needs to be uh, depth okay let's see make sure that goes through all of it there we go all right this counterboard depth needs to be let's try 15 see what that looks like 
All right, 15 millimeters. Let's see how that looks. Okay. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's click OK. We can turn that sketch off. Now we have our two holes. Now you can see this hole goes all the way through. We don't really want that. So what we want to do is, all right, so let's go back to this here where we did this press pull and let's right click and hit edit feature and we want to select this one but we want to select these holes here there we go and then now we have a solid body let's turn that sketch back on all right the counterboard depth I need to be there we go 19.05 which is three quarters of an inch all right click OK and then we want to modify press pull I'm going to select this hole and this hole we want to cut and let's try 15 millimeters that should be okay let's try that see how that looks turn this sketch off okay yeah that does come through there but I think it'll be okay and we have to double check these hole sizes I'm not quite sure if those are M5's or M6's alright now that we have these two holes drawn we can thread them so let's create threads put here hold down shift select this hole uh, metric M6 I'm not sure M6 by 75 let's try that okay all right let's see where we're at all right that looks good turn that on all right save that So you can see how it's going to mount up with just these two holes. We're not going to tr trim the top of the ball nut there, but we will trim this bottom area right here. Okay. And let's see. Let me check this measurement right here. All right. This needs to be about point. point nine and it looks like it's a half a millimeter so we're definitely going to have to modify that let's go to our sketch here okay turn this body off fix that okay so I want to edit the sketch okay and let's just do a rectangle two point select that point and that point and we'll go down 0.4 millimeters there we go and then hit T for trim and we'll just take that line out there we go that looks good that looks good stop sketch okay let's see what happens make sure we didn't mess anything up turn our body back on okay so we've lost our chamfer it gives you a <coughs> uh, 
yellow around here letting you know so let's edit that feature and this feature so hold down control select both of those okay we fix that and I think that looks good why is that giving me a caution okay all right turn that sketch off now let's check this measurement it should be one millimeter I mean 0.9 okay that's good uh, I may need to adjust that that is a critical measurement because that dictates the center line of the mount but it's pretty close to the 0.9 one millimeter range all right so you can see how the ball nuts going to mount to uh, to the ball nut mount I'm just gonna have these two holes here and on the other side to bolt it up here and here and then the two to bolt it down uh, that should be fine so that wraps up the x-axis ball nut mount uh, stay tuned to the next video and we'll work on the uh, y-axis please feel free to make suggestions ask questions and leave comments please subscribe to the YouTube channel thanks for watching and most importantly be safe